It has been a few days since Claude 3.5 Sonnet was released, and it has amazing capabilities. I have spent the past few days playing with the model and it is just amazing. Honestly, if this is the trajectory with these AI models, then I think that we shall have AGI pretty soon. One of the best features that came with the recently released model is a feature they are calling Artifacts. Artifacts is a new feature that expands how users can interact with Claude. When a user asks Claude to generate content like code snippets, text documents, or website designs, these artifacts appear in a dedicated window alongside their conversation. This creates a dynamic workspace where they can see, edit, and build upon Claude's creations in real time, seamlessly integrating AI-generated content into their projects and workflows. So I have been testing this feature and it has been doing amazing things. Now getting a game created is a matter of seconds and it comes with the code and the preview of the game. You can ask the model to create any game imaginable for you and in a matter of minutes you will have the game developed for you. You then get a preview of the game on a new window on the right side together with the code. In one example I asked it to develop a game based on the famous Candy Crash and after a few seconds of magic. Well, a few seconds of geometric transformations and the game was ready. You can ask it to give you any game that comes to your mind and it will do that. I then asked it to design a game of number puzzle and without much further instructions, it was able to develop this wonderful game. It begins by stating the type of game that it shall be developing and in this case, the number game was inspired by number games like Sudoku. Then it tells you which framework will be used and in most examples I gave it, React was the go-to framework. Then it tells you the name of the game it is about to develop. And a few seconds later, we have a playable game. The game preview came on the right hand side and as you can see, you can interact with the game on the preview window giving you the experience of the final product. The game also comes with the code so that migrating the project to your editor or frameworks will be simple. Notice also how after developing the game, it also gives an explanation of the design decisions. So if you want to change anything or play with the code later, it will be easy to know where to start. One minor drawback I have realized is that it does not add enough comments on the code so for long code bases, it would be a bit chaotic following the code, especially for non-experienced developers. But this shows that those who are claiming that AI has reached a plateau stage are wrong. Remember there are advancements on the compute side as well as on the algorithm side. Companies may have decided that they will release new capabilities slowly to avoid public pushback, but that does not mean that the progress has slowed down. The second thing I tested it on was coding. So on coding, I did test it on several examples and I was amazed at the speed of delivery. Not only the speed at which it answered but also the quality of work done. Well, it is not perfect but it is very much advanced. According to Anthropic, in an internal agentic coding evaluation, Claude 3.5 Sonnet solved 64% of problems, outperforming Claude 3 Opus which solved 38%. The evaluation tests the model's ability to fix a bug or add functionality to an open source code base, given a natural language description of the desired improvement. When instructed and provided with the relevant tools, Claude 3.5 Sonnet can independently write, edit, and execute code with sophisticated reasoning and troubleshooting capabilities. It handles code translations with ease, making it particularly effective for updating legacy applications and migrating code bases. Looking at the examples I have tested it on, it is evident that this has taken the game higher and we should expect more. The competition is brewing and I think others will not be left behind too. Just wait a few months and one company is going to push the bar higher. Having tested the model for a few days and on many topics I am amazed by its abilities. I tested it on reasoning and it performed particularly well. Although it is not perfect, it shows much better abilities compared to its competitors in the market. On the benchmarks, it beat both GPT-40 and Llama 3 400 billion parameter model on almost all benchmarks. What do you think, good people? Are you blown away by such capabilities or do you still feel that AGI is far off? There are definitely many people who are impressed by such capabilities, but the issue of whether these are sparks of AGI or not is a heated one. One thing that is clear is that what machine learning algorithms do, 
is a bunch of geometric transformations that capture abstract representations in data and use these representations to generate knowledge or information. The contention arises from whether it is such knowledge that gives AI systems intelligence. Is it true intelligence or simple statistical methods that are amazing at predicting with great accuracy the next token? I have to be honest. This debate is a hard one simply because there are concepts we cannot define properly. For example, what is intelligence? What is consciousness? There are questions that we cannot authoritatively answer because there are no concrete answers to them. But whether this is intelligence or curve-fitting mechanisms, what Claude has achieved is remarkable. And we shall still see much more from the major competitors. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Is AI true intelligence or statistical mechanisms? Also, like this video and subscribe for more AI content.